It's a rare glimpse inside a chaotic afternoon as firefighters attempt to make their way through the town of Yarnell as it burns. Watch these power lines. Yeah, yeah I don't want to go in there right now. In one video, crews have just retreated from the forest. Then an unsettling question. So is Granite Mountain still there? The Granite Mountain 19 is trapped. Come on, Granite. Let's hear you talk here. It's a long time. Especially in this fuel type. They request an air attack to their location, but as another video shows, air commanders don't know exactly where to go. Do we have any firm location on where they're at? Uh, no, I, I can't. Other than I would say the southeast corner. Since the tragedy, some experts have unsuccessfully urged the state to equip all hotshot crews with GPS locators for emergencies. There have also been questions about communications and planning on the fire. Another video shows a firefighter trying to contact an operations section's chief. I have his old number, but I don't have his new number. Do you, can you text it to me? Please. I really need it bad right about now. A small moment among many, but perhaps not insignificant to the fact that state labor safety investigators concluded that planning was inadequate. One firefighter can be heard telling another how his crew attempted to look for the team and their leader, Eric Marsh, while driving out. The lookout was Brendan McDonough, the lone survivor of the crew. After the realization hits that the crew has perished, one firefighter arrives at the deployment site. Dad Todd, uh, on scene. 18, confirmed. Let's go ahead and obviously uh, secure the area and uh, um, we'll go from there.